Hi, I'm Nadine Burton. I'm Marie. I'm Dusty's makeup artist. I'm Charlotte Marshall. Fire Salman. Kevin Carter. Joe Greenslade. I'm Robin Dennis. Hi, my name's Kira Pouncey. Hi, my name's Sean Laney. My name is Joel Taylor, and I'm the composer for the show. I'm Rebecca Greenwood. My name is Dan Smith. Reese Alexander Patinas. Joe James. My name is Andrew. Hello, my name is Anita. I'm Jane Buckle. It goes back to 25 years local theatre and drama clubs, TV, film, comedy skits, spinning commercials. I've never actually worked on an, a, a real set before. I've just done like makeup from home or I've done clients at home. I've done a few weddings. Um, I'm really looking forward to being able to be on set and actually showing my skills. I studied uh, contemporary theatre and performance while at university. So that was all about pushing the boundaries of theatre and creating new things. I loved creating new theatre and new stuff, but I didn't feel I was that great at pushing the boundaries. I moved back to working with scripts. I've been a big old fan of Shakespeare for like most of my life. Now I've been in this industry as a professional actor for oh, quite some time and I've been lucky enough to star in major feature films, dramas, TV commercials, many, many shorts, done stage and theatre and I have also done some voiceover work. I've done a lot of theatre and more recently I've been doing some screen. My experience with composing is I've composed some multiple published video games as well as a few short films and university projects. I started acting age seven. Most of my work is between the Arab world and the English world. I have acted since I was a teen, college course of performing arts, and I went on to university to study film, TV and theatre acting theatre performances. I have also spent the last two years working for a media company. I have worked on The Dump with Rob before, which was great fun. Films, kind of shorts, uh, some features as well. Building up on doing more screen work, which is which is great. A lot of theatre as well. I've done shows at um, The Other Palace, The King's Head, The Hope, The Vaults Theatre. And I appeared in a number of local amateur stage performances. I graduated from the Arts University in Bournemouth. And after landing my first professional role as Hansel in in a musical adaptation of Hansel and Gretel. I moved to London and I'm now trying to pursue a career in both acting and stand-up comedy. I have had performing experience for the last six years in musical theatre, film and television and comedy and drama. I have over 45 years of experience in the business, starting at the Italia Conti Stage School in 1973. I had experience in theatre, film, television and commercials. I've also taken part in multiple acting exams and musical theatre exams, as well as two Western shows in London. Um, I've been acting for many years now, quite recently more comedy parts. I've also been dancing since the age of three in ballet, tap, jazz, point and contemporary, as well as street dance. Uh, over the years, I have been in a multitude of television and feature films ranging across networks such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, ITV and BBC and I've taken part in multiple shows each year, as well as many dance exams. Um, I started out in youth theatre and gradually made my way into film school, short film, TV. Um, I've been looking to do feature film, maraudering myself through this industry. I have nine IMBDs, and once I filmed in Kathmandu, and I've done lots and lots of reality TV. When I first read the script of Dusty, I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't put it down. I thought it was incredibly well thought out. The It's all about timing as well. He just did it so incredibly well. Oh my God, this is it. This must be for me. And I'm so grateful that out of probably a hundred people that applied to be Dusty's makeup artist that I got chosen, I finally get to put my talents to the test on a set and I can't believe it. I thought Dusty's script was funny, it was exciting, something different and out of the ordinary. It really reminds me of childhood growing up, watching some sitcoms on the TV, Only Fools and Horses and Open All Hours. That's what really caught me when I read the Dusty script. Oh, the Bard, you know, he's about here. He's, 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 he's high up there, in my opinion. Dusty, just a little bit higher. <laughs> now, I love how easily it all flows together. 
The characters work well. The humour is organic and easy to follow. It creates a world that's familiar and also... It's got its oddities and it's got its odd characters, as any good comedy does. I thought to myself, oh my God, how fantastically written, how brilliantly put together is this production. This is off the scale. I thought it was really funny. I really liked the banter. I really liked the characters and the writing just came off the page. I thought it was very funny, well written. Robert has this great vision, and I just hope that we all support his vision because it deserves to be supported. I thought it was very funny, um, straight away. Got Rob's tone um, in it, having again worked on the dump, I kind of have a sense of what he's like. And he wrote the part of Mary Rose for me, kind of flattered or not. It's, it's a great part, it is a great part, it's very funny, and I think she's got lots to uh, say, which is going to be fun to film. See, I generally laughed out loud from the jokes because of how they were written, and I'm looking forward to seeing the talented actors perform them. Well, at first I really thought, wow, there's a lot going on here. But then as I kept reading it, I started to see everything come together, and I just thought, this is so, just so perfectly well written. It's just, everything about it is just fantastic. I have to say the first thing I felt was just excitement. I connected with the character, the whole script was funny, it was flowing very fast. I did the first read through, all the characters were so well casted by Rob. It has a lot of very interesting characters and situations. Old school comedy is just had that sort of 70s, 80s feeling about it. You've got this poor man, Rob. He's very likeable, very down in his life. You just, you root for him and you want him to be surrounded by better people. But at the same time, the people that do surround him are, are very funny, very entertaining. I immediately thought how funny it was and I feel as if people will really be able to relate to the characters and I love the diverse range of characters that there are. I loved it. Writing comedy is hard to make it flow, to get the timing right, to make the words on the page come alive to make them something relatable and enjoyable. Dusty does that. Uh, being an actor that normally plays antagonists and drama roles, to read a comedic piece was such a breath of fresh air. It was really enticing. I found myself just flowing through the pages all the way to the end, and it was a pleasure to read it. I'm really looking forward to being a part of it. I loved it. I was in my local coffee shop. I laughed out loud, probably more than I should. It was a brilliant read. Yeah, I thought it was very, Original, funny, naughty, and brilliant. I think people should donate to Dusty because it gives you a good belly laugh and it's something you need in the dark times that we're in at the moment. People need Dusty in their life. It's hilarious, it's funny, the characters are the kind of characters you can fall in love with and they say the things that you think but you wouldn't dare to say because it's such a good sitcom it's really really going to help everybody get back to that old style family sit around everybody having a cup of tea with the kids and just watching it it's really 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 good if people have the means and they're able to i would encourage them to please if you can donate thank you god we need to invest in some new content and some new talent. Get some new kind of comedy out there. It's it's original, it's funny, and it's quite heartwarming. Because I can tell that Robert is insanely passionate towards this project and the community he has gathered. And the actors to the crew, he has inspired them and myself. We're looking for you guys to help out, get involved. Try and donate as much as you can with every little helps because we want to get Dusty to the highest platform possible and sit there and watch this production on your TV and this as a production you'll be watching that you have helped out in. Robert's vision and hard work. He's written a very funny script and it's a script that needs people's support. Without your support and kindness, this will be very difficult to make. Rob deserves this. His script deserves it. And anyone who's involved in it deserves it. I generally do believe that this could be something big. How great would it be you were a part of it to make it happen it's such a unique sitcom experience it's like nothing i've ever read before and it's definitely not something i've seen in a traditional sitcom and i think this is something that more people should see and the only way you're going to get to see it is if you donate and help us make this real piece of art it's really funny it's a bit saucy it's a bit like an old-fashioned seaside postcard give 
this newcomer, Robert Rivet, an opportunity to see his vision live. Robert has actually a clear vision um, and super talented about how he wants this sitcom to be, but also because it's so intriguing and I want to know what happens. I, I want to see this play out and I want to find out what happened. People should donate to Dusty as we have a very talented cast and crew, a fantastic script and people will love watching Dusty. Although there are so many different platforms, the keys to the kingdom are still held by a select few. And to grab their attention, to get that chance, you need something special. The way Robert has written Dusty and the passion he clearly has, it is special. It's time for the next great British comedy. I think with how tough things are at the moment, uh, with all the things going on in the world, I think comedy and laughter is just such a great thing and it just really uplifts everybody and it just gives us something to distract us from all the crap that's currently going on. And I think Dusty definitely has that opportunity because it's so well written. Rob has put his heart and soul into this project and it's a passion project beyond belief that Rob has put together. But passion projects, they don't go anywhere without, you know, help and funding. We'll be very successful and do donating will help for it to achieve its goals. I can't describe it in one word. There's too many. Hilarious, comical, just bloody brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I would say passion. Genius. Pure genius. The writer behind this, uh, my good friend Rob Rivet, has just done such an amazing job with this and this, this is this is one of the funniest scripts I have ever written in all my time I've been in this industry. Heartwarming. You get these tales of family, the tales of friends, the tales of things that just make your heart happy and make you want to hear more. So funny. Sorry, that's two words. Original. Family comes to mind. It's about family and togetherness. Is a, is a great family story. Unique, I would say, in a very good way, in a very, very, in a very, very good way. It's refreshing, it's exciting. It's different. It's something a little bit different. Dusty in just one word, it would be intriguing. To describe Dusty in one word, I would say hilarious. It would be intriguing. I would say it's hilarious. A word for Dusty, original. Six years ago, I met a wonderful man named Robert Rivett when we both joined this acting academy called The Real Scene. He's an amazing, incredible talent, not just acting, but writing, creating. It's really incredible the way his mind works. And I just think it's absolutely brilliant. No matter how big or little, please donate to Dusty and it will be coming to a screen near you and make sure you get your tissues because you'll be laughing so hard you'll cry. Thank you. You can tell and you can feel the wit and the the intelligence with this humour and you can tell he's a great writer just by reading and listening to it. Read Through only made things gel even better and made it all so much more solid and you saw exactly where the humour was so it has been brilliant to read and a real privilege. It's got a great story of people banding together to make things better. From myself and all the cast and all the crew behind the scenes, we, we cannot thank you guys enough for be getting involved and helping to make this work. People should donate to Dusty because it's a brilliant project. Really good, original, funny writing. Uh, give it a chance. I'm looking forward to working with the team to add soundscapes that will build on the show on another level. Anyone who can spare something to donate will be much appreciated. Even if it's just a little amount, it, it will go a long way. This is going to be good. This is going to get families back together and it's just what we need after lockdown. We're all still sort of living with COVID and sort of getting back on our feet and with everything going on, we need something to make us laugh. I just hope Robert's vision comes to life. I just hope Robert gets what he deserves and he deserves support. I'm looking forward to being a part of this exciting project and bringing Dusty to life. Please donate. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Thanks. You need to donate to Dusty to see this unique, funny piece of work. Please just donate. 
whatever you can. The idea is great. The talent involved is outstanding. The enthusiasm Robert has is contagious and I want to be involved. You can be involved too. And I'm sure when Robert is accepting his trophy at the British Comedy Awards, he'd want to thank all those who donated. Be part of something special. Donate. Can we get one with a dog in it? And also, if you don't, Robbie's going to keep making me do these kind of things, which I hate doing. So, um, please donate. Yeah.